Potato salad is the most quintessential American summer side dish, but the classic version can be hit or miss. Mostly miss if I'm being honest. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make my version. It's got an addictively creamy dressing, bright, fresh, tangy flavors, and it is a major step up from the traditional potato salad. We're using baby red potatoes for our potato salad because I want distinct pieces of potato to show up in the potato salad and a waxy potato works best for that. If you were to use, in contrast, a starchy potato like a russet, which is the opposite of a waxy potato, it would just break down a lot and you would end up with mushy bits and bobs of potato stuck together. Just basically the potato salad we had to eat in the 90s in those big plastic tubs, so let's not do that. Another benefit to using these baby-sized potatoes is that they are miniature in size and very adorable, but also all you need to do is slice them in half, so the prep work is very easy. You wanna start your potatoes in a saucepan of cold water and season the water generously with salt. This is because potatoes are dense little fellas, or ladies, and if you add them to boiling water, they can overcook on the outside but stay firm on the inside. They also need that salt to seep into their dense little bodies and season them from the inside. Once the water is at a simmer, they need just eight to 12 minutes until they're fork tender. While the potatoes are doing their thing, it's time to make our dressing. And at this point, I should probably disclose that I never really loved the classic mayo-rich potato salad. It's heavy, it's gloopy, it's not a lot of flavor going on, so just not for me. But I do love this potato salad and the base of the dressing, it's a little bit different. It is vegan yogurt and tahini. Sounds a little bit weird, maybe, but I promise that it is so good. The combination adds this creamy richness, a slight nuttiness, and this addictive tang that you don't really get in potato salad. And you're gonna need four ounces of yogurt and a quarter cup of tahini. For the exact measurements for this recipe, along with step-by-step -step photos, tips, ingredient substitutions, be sure to check out the blog post at rainbowplantlife.com. You can find it linked in the description box below this video. For the vegan yogurt, I think a coconut yogurt works best, especially these varieties that are naturally tart and super creamy, which is what you want in potato salad. Just to clarify, when I say coconut yogurt, I mean a coconut milk-based yogurt, not a coconut flavored yogurt. These are plain flavored and they don't really taste like coconut. You certainly won't taste it in this recipe. We're also gonna add two different kinds of mustard, yellow mustard for the classic mustard flavor and Dijon mustard for a sharp yet mellow flavor and a complex tang. A couple of garlic cloves, we're gonna finely mince those or crush them, and a medium lemon. You're going to zest the lemon, it's gonna add this nice floral zippy freshness and you're going to juice the whole thing. You should get three tablespoons of juice. I really like a tangy potato salad. The tartness, the acidity is really key for balancing all the creaminess and waking up all the other flavors. So in addition to that lemon juice, we're also gonna use a tablespoon of caper brine. We'll add the actual capers later in the recipe, but for now, just a tablespoon of the brine. This next ingredient adds what I think of as a classic American flavor to the potato salad, celery seeds. They add this vegetal earthy flavor. It's hard to describe, but it works really well with the potatoes. If you can't find it, you can also use celery salt. Just use less salt in the recipe. Or if you have fresh salt, fresh. Or if you have fresh celery, you can chop up some of the leaves really finely or dice up some of the ribs. And of course, some salt and pepper to season, about a teaspoon of kosher salt and really as much black pepper as you'd like. Oh, one more thing, fresh dill. It's bright and citrusy and the potato dill celery seed combo is just really fantastic. I'm gonna use maybe a half cup total in this recipe, but for now I'm gonna add just one tablespoon of the chopped dill to the dressing and we'll use the rest later. All right, let's give it a taste. That's so good. I feel like you could bottle this up and drink it. I should bottle it up and sell it. So if anyone out there knows how to do that, food packaging experts, call me. To take our potato salad over the top, we're gonna add in a few more mix-ins to the salad. First, as I mentioned, capers. We're layering in different sources of acidity so that we end up with a complex yet nuanced tangy flavor profile. Some red onions, thinly sliced, about a half cup. And this is gonna add some nice sharpness and a crisp, fresh texture. Something a little more unique for our potato salad, we're gonna add a jalapeno pepper. Y'all know I love my spicy food, and this is gonna add this fun kick without being too aggressive. If you are a baby mouth, though, I will not be offended if you leave this out. You do you. All right, let's go check on our potatoes. You really wanna get just the slightest amount of resistance when you fork the potatoes. Fork the potatoes? Stab the potatoes? Why does fork the potatoes sound so weird? When you uh, insert the, no, I can't say that either. 
You really want to get just the slightest amount of resistance when you stab the potatoes with a fork. You really don't want them to get too soft and break down. Once the potatoes are drained, just let them hang out in the colander for five minutes to dry out some of that excess water. While the potatoes are still warm, we'll get them in the dressing because when the potatoes are warm, they're better able to absorb the dressing and all the flavors. And the nice thing about making a non-mayonnaise based potato salad is that you can serve it warm, which kind of makes it feel a little more grown up and elegant. And in contrast, if you were to serve a warm mayo based potato salad, not good. But if you wanna serve this potato salad chilled or you're making it in advance or you just have leftovers that you need to pop in the fridge, totally fine because it's still delicious that way too. And now we'll add those flavor mix-ins along with the chopped dill we reserved earlier. Finally, I'm gonna snip in some fresh chives. This is gonna complement the red onions with their grassy, oniony sharpness. You could also use some scallions instead and then just toss everything together. Y'all, this is so freaking good. You would have no idea there's no mayo in here, except, you know, I told you there wasn't. It's super creamy and indulgent, but also really fresh and bright. Got a nice heat from the jalapenos. I just have to have another bite. This would be perfect at your next summer barbecue. And for more delicious summer recipes, check out the short playlist I made for you right here. Thanks for watching. Bye.